Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome to the construction site on what is it, like Tuesday? Tuesday 2018. Wow, time flies, huh? When you're having fun. So as you can see, the water is not going away, which is a really big problem. But yeah, we'll raise the road to be fine. The guys are up on the building prepping for uh, raising the chimneys. We got the Highlanders coming uh, next week and uh, yeah, we we'll have to put up the chimneys before they put up the roof so they can uh, build around them. That's what we're going to be focusing on. Also the guys will need to put up some uh, dividing walls inside the house. That's also another task for this week, next week um, to finish up the uh, first stages of construction. Alright guys, so welcome to the attic. We are up here uh, on the ceiling of the first floor, attic space. You can see all these uh, spikes here are for the Highlanders to put up the roof. Pretty cool. Uh, some of these uh, middle ones are not super straight, but that's not a big problem because this is just uh, to tie of wood to the concrete so it doesn't have to be super super but these around uh, on the ledge they look pretty straight so I'm very happy with that all right so the finish on the concrete it's not perfect we returned the smoothing machine uh, before the concrete was fully set we had some additives that prevented it from freezing anti-freeze additives so it's set even slower than the one on the garage so even a day after like 24 hours after the concrete pour was still uh, muddy so we left it as it is and you can see this uh, top layer of uh, is very cracking and this is the like a uh, super thin layer uh, we call it the uh, cement milk or something like that so this is like the top layer on the concrete and underneath is just rough concrete but this is fine, it doesn't hurt anything. This will be under the floor anyway. All in all, this came out pretty good. Uh, taking into account the conditions we were at, you can see there are some lower spots and some higher spots uh, just by where the water is and where it's dry. But yeah, it doesn't affect really much. We're just going to take some styrofoam, 20 centimeters or so, and just lay it flat on top of here and maybe put some boards on top of that so we can walk on it just store some stuff, it's mainly a storage area for us, the attic Alright guys, so in the meantime I'm rolling up some uh, hoses from the pumps because there's no more water to pump, which is great and basically what you want to do is uh, get into the middle of the hose so fold it in half and get a really tight start on this and keep rolling it and this way when you're rolling it, you're rolling it only halfway and also if there's any residue water inside holding this up and rolling it this way will force the water down the hose which also helps really all right i think you get the idea Alrighty, so uh, Mr. Pavo is opening up the chimney pass-throughs through the concrete. You can see here he opened up this uh, opening for the chimney uh, for the bottom bathrooms and this one is for our master bathroom and over here he took down some boards because this is the chimney for the furnace in the laundry room. We're preparing to uh, raise the chimneys 
and this is required so that uh, there's no wood left and everything so yeah, this is a little bit premature for taking down the boards because the, we poured the slab last week but we're only doing doing it in a few spots so that should be fine That's our space for the chimney from the fireplace. Alrighty guys, it's a pretty short update today, I know. But yeah, there's not much for me to do today on the construction site. So I just prepared some uh, numbers for Mr. Pavel. So he knows where to place the chimneys exactly. I've pulled those uh, dimensions out of the AutoCAD drawing just to be 100% sure. And we can start on the chimneys tomorrow. And the guys are pulling up the board still, so they got plenty of work to do. Uh, and I don't need to supervise that. So I'm gonna go home, spend some time with the kids, and tomorrow maybe we'll start putting together those chimneys. Hey guys, good morning, welcome to the construction site on Wednesday. I can hear the cement mixer running. The guys are prepping for uh, raising the chimneys which is really, really good. So Patrick is working on removing the forms from the outside of the ledge so that once the carpenters get here to build the roof, those will be off because once the roof structure goes on, it's much harder to get the forms off. Right now, he can just lean over the edge and it's quite easy, right? So we're pushing the chimney into the wall uh, for the thickness of the block wall, basically. This is four centimeter thick. Uh, we're pushing it into the walls because the holes for the chimney are aligned with the uh, beam, the tie beam on the wall. So basically this is, where, this is where the tie beam is, right? So we're pushing this inside the uh, uh, clay blocks so that it takes less space in the bathroom, basically. Alrighty, so we're setting up uh, two blocks first. There's two blocks over there. There are two blocks so that the mortar has time to set else they could float and uh, kill over or lose their uh, trueness, uprightness. Now we're going to move on to the chimney for the fireplace. So we are dry fitting the blocks for the chimney and figuring out where exactly they should stand. We set up this metal plate which will hold our uh, chimney. There's a piece of stainless that is like a collar for the ceramics, normally the chimney system that has like a base. But since we're not using a base, we got a third party uh, manufacturer to make us these. You can see these blocks. There's the ceramic chimney part for the fireplace. And then this is made out of concrete. This is like a ventilation slot. So guys, we set up the third block and it's only about a meter tall, three blocks. But you can already feel the rising air through this chimney, this is crazy. <laughs>
So this is the color I was talking about. You can see it's got a pipe on the bottom. It's uh, spot welded with this uh, double collar on the top. It has some string for isolation and basically the ceramic the ceramic pipes will uh, just rest on here and uh, squish it and this fits into there and that provides a base for the chimney so this guy rests on the metal plate on the bottom so this is the whole assembly we've got the uh, metal collar the ceramic pipe and then some uh, fiber, fiberglass or uh, rock wool so this thermal isolation is there to prevent the heat build up from the chimney emanating out to these blocks so it's thermal isolated the fumes from the burning can reach up to I think 600 800 degrees or something like that so really hot and we don't want anything uh, like getting too hot and getting catching a fire or something like that. so that's why the uh, isolation plus it provides for a better burn I guess or something like that The blocks here, they have some reinforcement spots, these uh, holes in the block. And these are for rebar, so we're pulling in, this is I think a 10 or 12 millimeter rebar in the corners. And we're alternating, so these two will be the same length and then the other two will be longer. That way this is reinforced and it won't fall over. So we're putting in the thermal isolation first because then it's easy to slide the ceramic block in otherwise it would be really hard to get the uh, isolation in. And we're putting some uh, water on the block so it uh, absorbs better I guess the caulking. Alright guys, so once uh, you fit the second pipe, you have to take a little sponge and wipe off the excess caulking that is squeezed out when the two pipes come together so it forms a smooth surface. And you can see, this looks pretty nice. Really cool, I'm happy with uh, how the chimney is going. It's the same system we did on the garage if you haven't watched that episode. Uh, we also put up a chimney over there. Yeah, really cool. So the work on the chimneys continue as you can see. Patrick has been dismantling the formwork for the ledge. And it's looking really good. a piece of concrete sticking out from the wall which prevented the chimney to sit upright properly so we had to remove the piece and I just grabbed it from up here it's easier and we took a 
hammer drill to it or just a hammer <laughs> and the concrete's gone and now we can put a new mortar and put the block back in place Yes, this. Okay, then. Yes, boy. So we're almost through the ceiling the attic with the chimney and uh, the other ones are almost there too. It's starting to rain so that's not the best but yeah this chimney will probably be done tomorrow still we've got two days this week before the roof guys come the highlanders so cool 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 all right guys so we're putting in the last piece today because it's getting a bit dark and uh, yeah, I need to get home also. And you can see, you can't really see down there. It's dark down there, but it spans the whole first floor. And then it's gonna span four more meters up through the attic. So really cool. I'm very happy with how this is going. This will most likely be done tomorrow. guys welcome to the construction site on Thursday we're continuing on the work with the chimney Mr. Pavel over there is cutting out uh, 22.5 degree angles on the blocks I'll show you why in a moment So we got a chimney that spans across our bathroom from both sides. So these two sides will go turn 45 degrees and then meet into one single chimney uh, with four uh, ventilation blocks or panels. So we cut this block two times at the angle of uh, 22.5 degrees, that way the cross section of the chimney piece is the same on both ends and it can bend nicely without any uh, ridges inside. If you cut off 45 and then put it just on the flat one, the 45 cross section has a wider uh, surface area than the flat part and it would be sticking out this way. So just little math <laughs> so what we are going to do is a nice fancy uh, base made out of uh, clay blocks and full bricks just to support the chimney pieces
last block we're cutting at a 45 so that it matches up nicely to the vertical chimney pieces because when we're going to uh, put out the blocks for the vertical piece of the chimney like this one the falling mortar it needs to place it needs a place to go so it doesn't clog up the chimney and you, with these bands you cannot really see if it gets clogged up or not so we're going to make a little pocket underneath so that mortar falling can uh, fall there and be out of the way and uh, uh, diagonal pieces of the chimney will, will come in uh, 10 centimeters above this pocket so there's like plenty of space for the mortar As you can see because the vertical piece is offset a little bit yeah. from the center this one starts a diagonal really quickly and then this one catches up a bit afterwards and this block it needs to be extended by seven more centimeters and then go into the vertical and this one is basically there and we measure just across from the lowest point we want them to basically rest on this spot so 40 centimeters between the two a little bit of quick math and we came up with a solution we got uh, one piece of the 45 it should uh, be enough for both sides Cutting out the starters for the vertical piece, like I said. You can see uh, the chimney, the angle chimney will come here from the side. And this gap will be uh, the common space over here. And then on top, there's going to be another one that's going to have a little bit of the bottom cut out. with the underlayment here so that the pockets they can fit so we just cut them off so you can see we cut them all the way down and this will angle up up to here it's gonna be a pocket maybe this deep for mortar falling the same on the other side Matematica. Uh -huh. <laughs> really yeah. awesome. Mathematics, kids. Stay in school. Really cool. Bardzo, bardzo dobrze. Pięknie się zmasowały. Alright guys, the rocket ship is complete. Check it out. Turned out really nice, especially when we put in the last pieces that the last piece that wedged. It pushed everything together, everything aligned perfectly, so it's a full success. Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Friday. As you can see, we got a pretty nice sunny day today, and we're continuing on the fight with the chimneys. Uh, we don't have enough blocks to build all of them. The order I made is for 17 meters of these ventilation blocks, but they only delivered around 10. And my contact at uh, the company is out on vacation, and the construction yard that brought them here, they were closed yesterday. I need to call them and figure out what went wrong, and I need to order more. So those will have to wait for next week, and we can 
do the one for the fireplace and we want to finish that today yeah so let's get to it oh yeah and i wanted to show you how this came out pretty cool pretty cool and inside i doubt you'll be able to see anything inside let's see can the camera adapt oh yeah oh yeah it can better than my eyes so that's one side, and then the other side is pretty dark in there. So we're gonna put blocks up on here, and this this is going to be one crazy chimney. Yeah, but this is only ventilation, so there's no smoke going through it, nothing that will clog it up or anything like that. So it should be fine. Alright guys, so we're continuing on with the chimney, starting from the first block that goes through the uh, slab, and we'll carry on. run out on the camera but I deleted some files so you can continue the time lapse. Time for a little break. Alright guys, so I jumped out to the cash machine to pick out some money but it was out of order. So then I went to another one in town and that one only uh, put out like really small amounts so I had to do like eight withdrawals but I got the cash for the wood that just got delivered. The guys are unloading it and those are boards for the Roof structure on the house. Dzień dobry. Witam serdecznie. Witam, witam, witam. Widzę, że piękne drewno przyjechało znowu. No koniecznie. A widziałeś co zrobili z poprzednim? No widziałem, nie ma nic. So we're ready for the uh, Highlanders to pull up the structure now. So we got a scaffolding up and we're uh, slowly climbing up with the chimney. Soon it will be four meters tall above the slab. Alright guys, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight blocks above the slab. So four blocks left, five chimney pieces, uh, ceramic pieces. And we'll be done for today. Awesome. Alright guys, we'll just carry on with this. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a good evening. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.